check this out. We should be alive. There we are. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. And today we do mathematics. Coolio, how's it going first? <laughs> awesome, awesome. What's the day today? Today is May 18th. Uh, 2020 smith how are you doing the man the legend <laughs> hope you guys are doing well uh this is the last uh uh stream we've set up for the five set that we started uh five days ago i guess uh <laughs> it's ball search we're gonna we're gonna get the emote going for that man uh after i've been busy with the uh, taking care of the podcast stuff right so I think I got a nice rhythm going for the podcast that we're loading onto SoundCloud and whatnot. And I'm going in and putting a little intro at the beginning, a little ending at the end with a little uh, tapping of the bowl. <laughs> so we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> it's fun to do. It's fun to do. I love uh, sort of messing around with a new platform and learning the, learning the ropes and stuff. Elder God, how are you doing? You've been going crazy with the emotes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I'm going to go do my little intro for this thing. For those of you that are live here, uh, you know who we are, right? Lis999, hey Chicho, hope you're well. You doing well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, enjoying our time together. Uh, we've had a great, great uh, five, five days of streaming going on. So that's been fantastic. Connor Higgins, how are you doing? Hello, hello. <coughs> Havri Fraz X, how are you doing? Well, uh, what does it mean to take the reciprocal and how does one do it mathematically? Oh, I love it. You're coming up with a math question right away. Fantastic. Let me do my little intro to this thing and we'll talk about the reciprocal. Okay. Good evening, Chicho. Good evening, Brett. How are you doing? Brett Kelly, 69. Uh, so as far as uh, who I am, I'm on Patreon. If you want to follow this work, Patreon is a great place to follow this work. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a great place to support this work. Okay, I don't put anything behind paywalls. You can just follow and after you get into the rhythm of what it is that we're doing, if you do have the funds, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. We are live streaming this on Twitch. Uh, so if you want to catch these streams live, Twitch is where you want to be at. And that's twitch.tv backslash chicho live, one, one word. Okay. Um, I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gabs, Minds, VK, and Elo. Okay. As long as the platforms are working fine. Um, I try to post it on Gabs, but Gabs is having little hiccups. And all the platforms have hiccups every now and then, right? So hiccups permitting censorship permitting uh, they go on Twitter gas mines VK and hello uh, patreon we're doing everything on there <laughs> within reason of course um, and we are live streaming uh, not live stream podcasting uh, a lot of the streams on SoundCloud and I've already started uploading uh, we did a test run with three or four of them on um, from the previous set of live streams that we did we recorded with the lapel mic i loaded those on uh during the last week and today i'm loading on the three um readings of wikileaks that we did in the last couple of years we did a reading of vault seven actually three four four i don't know how many years now well the first reading we did was vault seven uh the cia hacking tools reveal so i just uploaded that this morning on soundcloud then we did the Guantanamo Bay files and I loaded that onto SoundCloud a couple of hours ago. And we're gonna load on the introduction to the OPCW leaks from WikiLeaks, uh, most likely later on today. Okay, and I'm slowly going to be uploading <laughs> uploading uh, previous live streams and videos we have done onto SoundCloud. So you're gonna, you can expect a lot of podcasts, a lot of audio being loaded on SoundCloud in the next few months, really, because we've got 900 plus videos on YouTube and at least 400 of those, if not more, more than that, uh, 500 of those are have a lapel mic associated with them. Okay. 
uh, real quick what were your thoughts on Guantanamo Bay what were my thoughts on Guantanamo Bay uh, torture bad uh, not prosecuting war criminals bad uh, occupying another nation's land bad uh, Guantanamo Bay should be closed the land handed over to Cubans I, everyone that participated in the torture program for the United States should be thrown in jail but that's politics that's for another stream okay and we will be uploading these videos to YouTube and BitChute and if you um, want to support this project YouTube membership is a fantastic way to support this project as well okay oi oi chicho having a great day today awesome Graham awesome 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 uh, Coolio I have fallen asleep to the whispered vault 7 WikiLeaks thing so many times that I probably know the whole document leaked by the heart and my subconscious awesome fun everybody should know that everyone should know that that was one of the most crucial leaks that WikiLeaks has released and again that's politics we'll leave that for another day right maybe I framed my question wrong I thought but thanks for your answer my pleasure Liz uh, what's 2 plus 2 again uh, it should be 4 okay if you're just dealing with integers by the way keep politics thanks elder god <coughs> smith got to define two plus and equal sign of course of course okay let's go straight into the mathematics okay i'm gonna take down these guys Boop. 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 where is this Boop. And done fun 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 um what are we in oh seven minutes that's plenty of time Hello Gandalf. Hello Ol uh, Are you being a good <laughs> good person today? Uh, Catholic traditions. Good evening, folks. Crazy busy today, so I will only be able to lurk tonight. No worries, Catholic traditions. I hope you have a well. I was gonna say chill Monday, but I hope your busyness goes well. I hope you get everything done well. Uh, just so you know, we're it's a holiday where I am. So I got up this morning, I had one student cancel, and I and I just sent an email out to everyone saying, okay, we're canceling today, canceling today, canceling today, canceling today. Uh, that way I'm just doing this. And I was working on the podcast, so that was uh, that was fun. <clears throat> what is E equals MC squared? It's uh, energy is equal to mass times the speed of light squared. Okay, that means there's a lot of, yeah i know elder god there's a lot of uh <laughs> i think it's the clan that's in here <laughs> there's there's i think there's there's two of them that have the same name but different right um basically it means that this thing here this little thing here contains a lot of energy right a lot of energy not only if we could harvest that right energy and mass are actually the same thing that's the point of that equation yeah uh, inverse inverse <clears throat> you contain a lot of energy you do you do ding bopper chicho i seriously think you should cook that game burn inside of a chicken inside of a turkey inside of a pig please consider ding bopper <laughs> once we get a big kitchen once we go full load once we go huge uh i get a gigantic oven and stuff like that we'll do something like that i've been meaning to deep fry something large at some point if i can get it find x y z such that da, 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 equals k for each k from one to 100. Oof, that's a riddle man you should uh, riddles i'm not good at i'm just here to teach high school mathematics <coughs> okay let's do inverse function inverse function inverse function what is an inverse function so to understand functions first thing we have to do is look at a Cartesian coordinate system right so let's throw a Cartesian coordinate system on there on the board right X Y axis X Y axis right so in mathematics, time out, time out, Elder God. <laughs> we don't need to chop heads off, but we can throw them in the throw them in the cage <laughs> for about six hundred seconds. <laughs> oh fun! Uh, you gotta play nice here, Oliho. Okay, and Oliho three. Okay, 
throw them in the uh, sky cell if you've watched game of thrones oh the th sky <laughs> isn't that the one they throw them down the shoot they go down open up the doorway no we can just time out a little bit maybe maybe so in mathematics one of the things we do right we want to understand functions okay and functions are basically us trying to understand how a system works right and all almost every type of system you can look at it and quantify it and that's what mathematics allows us to do mathematics allows us to quantify different systems that way we can understand them we can make predictions we can figure out where they came from we can start manipulating them looking at them from different light switching the variables introducing new variables taking out variables seeing how the different variables are connected right and some of the most simplest functions that we can have we can throw in a cartesian coordinate system x y axes right we can just say there's only two variables in play right the x variable and the y variable and usually on the x-axis this is the independent variable right and you have y here as the dependent variable as a search tag <laughs> thanks <laughs> train the tray soon we'll have a little emote that will we can we can use on this thing i learned from the last mastery no half measures no half measures yeah elder god thank you yeah me too that one pissed me off a little bit on the previous stream and by the way gang i timed the stream a little bit uh not best timing because we're gonna have the sun coming in unfortunately i forgot to uh remember that the sun is changing so we have a skylight here so the sun is gonna start shining here if the sun takes us out that we can't see the board we might just chat right so i'm gonna try to finish this inverse question right away okay <clears throat> comment as he gets at a lot nice so take a look at this thing usually this is the independent variable this is the dependent variable and what is y dependent on y is dependent on x right so for example height of a tree how tall a tree gets from a sapling is dependent on time right time is not dependent on the height of a tree agreed okay so you could put your time variable on the x-axis and you could put your height of a tree on the y-axis and you can see you know if you have a seed right if you grow from seed the height is zero and then the sapling grows and grows you know grows fairly fast initially and then tapers off and it reaches a maximum height right so that could be one type of function would grow and if you have an orchard if you have if you have a farm if you if you're trying to if you're in the forestry sector this is the, exactly the type of thing you would do if you're trying to optimize your production if you're trying to preserve forests if you're trying to understand how the ecology works all together right rain and stuff like this and it's not just time that matters it's the soil that matters so there's another variable there it's uh, rain it's sunshine it's the different types of climates you're in and whatnot right so that's what a function is it's important to appreciate that right so let's assume we have the following function okay we'll just do it graphically initially and then we're going to do it algebraically so graphically consider this let's assume we have a function that looks like this it could be anything that you might want to think about right let's assume our function looks like this okay that's our function does that even come out as black that would, that's supposed to be brown and that's black right so that's our function let's figure out what an inverse of this function is right because if we're going to write this function we will write this function as and y we can write as f of x i'm not sure if you're familiar with f of x right you could write this as f of x that means y is a function of x got it it's just a terminology y is a function of x okay now if we want to do it inverse graphically what we're doing is we're flipping the x and the y okay we're gonna look at a function that is presented as let's do this in blue i'm not sure how dark this is going to come out oh, that's okay that's okay let me grab a better blue pen 
I got bought a whole bunch of new pens. Right, so we're gonna use darker, right? So let's assume this is our original function, which is this guy, whoosh, whoosh, right? Now what we're gonna do, hello, 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 Spider-Man. Who trolls a mastery for real? <laughs> Some people do, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this function, but flip it, right? We're gonna look at a function that is x is equal to f of y, right? So what we're doing is we're saying, hey, we know that y is dependent on x, and this is what the graph looks like. What would happen if x was dependent on y? Okay, and if we're doing that, what we're really doing is we're flipping this graph along the x, y, x, uh, y equals x axis. So what we're doing is we have a mirror here. Okay. This is the line y is equal to x. y is equal to x. And what we're doing is we're flipping this function about this line, about this mirror. So we're grabbing this thing. Just imagine this function being on this line and we're going, we're flipping it, right? So what we're doing is the graph of, <laughs> so what we're doing is the graph of x is equal to f of y is going to look like this. Like, have you ever tried to walk up to a mirror and put your finger on a mirror? As you touch a mirror, right? Doop, the mirror touches your finger exactly. Your reflection touches your finger exactly where you touch the mirror, right? And that's what happens with inverse functions. Wherever you have the line crossing the y is equal to x line mirror line the function stays exactly where it is okay and whatever is on this side flips to this side whatever is on this side flips to that side right so this guy comes here that guy goes there this guy comes here and that guy goes there right so what happens is let's try to draw this uh, we're gonna draw this in blue right so we're gonna draw this in blue so just imagine, first thing you need to do, you need to use reference points to be able to graph it properly, right? Because sometimes it becomes complicated, right? So take a look at this thing. Let's assume this point here for this function, this guy was zero and negative eight, right? So what you're gonna do, if you're gonna flip around about the line y is equal to x, right? You had y is equal to f of x is this guy. If you're going to flip it into x is equal to y of f, what you're doing is you're switching these coordinates. So your coordinate here, this guy, is going to be zero, negative 8 and 0. So let's go about the same distance. So it's going to be here, negative 8 and 0. Okay. Let's assume this point here was negative 7.5 and 0. So you flip it, this point here now becomes zero and negative 7.5, right? And we can do this with all the x and y intercepts, right? So there's only y, one y intercept, but there's three x intercepts. So when we flip this thing, we're actually gonna have three y intercepts now, right? So let's find out what these three points are. And let's assume this guy would be if that's eight, that would be four, that would be two. So let's assume this is one, one and zero. And let's assume that's, that's like huge. Boop. Let's assume that's 10 and zero, right? If that's the case, then our flip relationship now, because it's no longer a function, is gonna be zero and one, zero and one, and it's gonna be zero and 10. Let's put it up here, zero and 10, okay? Now what we want to do is graph this thing, okay? So this is the way this graph is going to look like. This guy is going to flip. So this guy is going to go here. Am I graphing this properly? This guy is going to go up here. So we want to, these two points are going to touch and the graph has to go through here and go through there. And then it's going to hit that guy, right? So it's going to go through here. It's going to come out. It's gonna hit this, okay. Uh, where is that guy gonna go? Am I graphing this properly? 
oh yeah that guy comes here yeah my graph sort of sucks it's not to scale okay does that look legit that looks pretty pathetic right but basically this is what the graph looks like i should have tried to do an inverse function of a easier graph to flip right so this thing comes here it goes like this goes like this goes like this goes like this and comes out okay that's what an inverse function is we take a function like this and we flip it okay it looks good and that makes perfect sense okay that's what we're doing that's what it means visually okay graphically let's do it algebraically okay and if you want to take a pic of this you can just freeze the screen and take a pic of it right now we're not gonna you know i don't know what the equation of this function is i'm just going to give you a, a brand new equation and we'll do two different ones we'll do a linear one we'll do and we'll do an uh, rational function as well okay like the everyday since uh, pandemic started okay let's erase this guy so take a look now what if we had a function that was this and i hope we can use f of x okay because f of x is sweet way to do this screenshot time yeah. so take a look at this thing let's assume we had the following function f of x which is really just your y right but i'm not going to write y because we don't want to run out of letters to use we don't want to double up on things right confuse things right let's assume we had the following function f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 right and we want to take the inverse of this okay now if we want to take the inverse of this what we're going to do is we're going to flip this oops i should get my spelling correct right flip flip this flip this about the line y is equal to x which means take the inverse of this okay that's all it means inverse is just a short short way of saying flip this about the line y equals x and we'll graph this thing as well right so if we're going to graph this thing the y-intercept that's just a linear function the y-intercept is five one two three four five and the slope is two over one so one two over one so that's what this line looks like right now if we're going to flip this about the line y equals x uh da, 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 da. i see a great cartoon mode of g john next to math four so take <laughs> elder god awesome so this is the y line y is equal to x right so if we're going to flip this about the line y is equal to x this is what we're going to get right we're going to get this guy this point goes over here and that point goes over there here let's make this more accurate this is what it looks like right we just took this line and went and this guy goes and the point where it touches stays where it is but we want to find the equation for it too right so if we want to find the equation flip these things to these two things around now remember f of x is just y right so let's write y when we flip it so if we flip it we're going to go x is equal to 2y plus 5 and that y is this guy right but we don't write equations in terms of x we write equations in terms of y right so we've got to isolate y if we isolate y you grab this guy bring it over and that becomes a negative 5 is equal to 2y uh, oh sorry x minus 5 is equal to 2y and then divide everything by 2 right so y is equal to 1 over 2 x minus 5 over 2 that's this equation right this point here is 0 and negative 5 over 2 which is negative 2.5 your y-intercept and your slope is up one over two one two my graph is not to scale right so we just found the equation of the inverse of this function and we graphed it as well easy now keep this in mind what if the function is more complicated let's erase this and look at a more complicated function okay Ch -ch -ch. if you want to take a screenshot Let's do a more complicated function. What if we had the following? Is uh, 2 over 5 right? 
I think so it was wasn't it yeah you have to divide by two right so you had uh, pa, 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 pa. x is equal to 2x 2y plus 5 you grab this thing over it become x minus 5 is equal to 2y divide everything by 2 so y is equal to 1 over 2x minus 5 over 2 no the intercept will st still not be 5 remember the reciprocal of this thing if that was the original function right 5 is the y-intercept and then 2 over 1 boop, boop, and 1 right that's the y-intercept for the original function uh, oh poop uh, the original function was this let me rewrite it y is equal to 2x plus 5 right so let me erase this because we we're flipping it right now right plus five that was the original function right so if we flip this remember the flip means we're flipping about the line y is equal to x so if this guy was zero and five it becomes five and zero now it's no longer the it's it becomes five and zero now it's no longer the y-intercept it's now the x-intercept right now think about it this way here let me let me kick it off to a function that is just points not a line so let's assume you have the following function let's assume you had a function that was just table of contents right x and y right so you had 0 5 3 4 uh, negative 2 and 0 1 and 1 uh, and let's go 0 0 and we need a negative number here negative three and five right so this is the function we want to take the inverse of so taking the inverse of this function it just means you flip these guys right so if you're going to flip it you're going to take the inverse of this function this new function that you have now is x and y right there are different x's and y's remember right this guy goes here five four zero one zero negative three and these guys go here zero three negative two one zero five right oh yeah this is not a function we have to change this guy because i gave you the same x value and two different y's right so let's make this an eight right that means this guy would be an eight and it doesn't have to be a function it just could be a relation right so if we're going to graph these two things right i'm going to erase this so let's throw both these functions on the cartesian coordinate system right zero five negative two three four so one two three four five right uh one two three and four negative two and zero one and one zero and eight oh i still give <laughs> i still gave this to you i had to change this guy so let's call this one eight and zero right eight and zero so this guy becomes zero and eight because it was still not a function right so this guy becomes zero and eight, right? So eight and zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and zero, and then five and negative three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, right? So that's our original function. Now we're gonna do the flip of it, right? So if we do the flip, it's five and zero. So this one that was zero and five, because five and zero, one, two, three, four, five and zero, four and three, one two three four and one one two three right so that point became that point zero and negative two zero and negative two so that point became that point one and one well if you flip this that stays exactly where it is what does that tell you that point is on the line y is equal to x right it's on the mirror line okay i think my problem is that my mind my mind the function is 2x shifted by 5 which you then change to 1 over y shifted by that I want to shortcut that 
instinctively, yeah, you can't do it because that's not what it is, right? I realize what you want to do. You want to change only the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the slope of the function, but that's not the case. What What is happening is you're switching the X and the Y's. Wherever the X, wherever you had X in the inverse is now the Y, wherever you had Y is now the X, right? That's really what's going on. It'll make it clear when we do a rational function. Take a look at the rational function. Because rational functions, what happens with mathematics? For simple functions, sometimes we have brain farts and we make silly mistakes and we make assumptions, right? For more complicated functions, because your brain can no longer process it that fast, you have to slow down and then you see really what's going on, right? So let's assume we had the following function. Let's assume we had f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 over x minus 1, right? Now, this is a rational function. We have an asymptote, okay? We have a asymptote at x is equal to 1. Now, we're not going to bother graphing this because we're just going to do it algebraically, right? Because whatever this function looks like, the inverse of it is a flip along the line y is equal to x, right? So all you have to do is graph this function and then flip it, right? Which is a little bit harder visually to do. It's better just to do it algebraically and graph the uh, inverse function starting from the algebraic expression, right? But if we're going to do the inverse of this, what do we got to do? Wherever we see x, we put y. And wherever we see y, we put x, right? And f of x is y, right? So for this function, so what we do is if we're taking the inverse, flip you can call it flip about y is equal to x okay so what do we do we take f of x and call it x and we take all the x's and call them y's right cool what's the name of the game now the name of the game is we got to get y by itself we got to get the y's by themselves but there isn't two y's there's only one y they just happen to be in different places in the equation right so we've got to mess around with this thing algebraically so first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab this guy cross, cross multiply it up right so this becomes x y minus 1 is equal to 2y plus 5 right now we've got two different y's in two different places we've got to bring them all over to one side right now first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply the x in okay so this becomes xy minus x is equal to 2y plus 5 then bring all the y's to one side. So x, y minus 2y and take everything else to the other side. So we're going to grab this, bring it over, and we're going to grab that and bring it over there, is equal to 5 plus x, right? How are we going to get these two y's to become one y, right? Because this is x, y, and that's minus two y's. We can't combine them because this has an x, this doesn't. But what we can do is take out a GCF. The GCF of this is Y, right? Factor, right on, right? Rasta, Rasta back, right? Factor out the Y. That's what's common between them. So you take out the Y. Y comes out, you got X minus two left. And I'm gonna rewrite this as X plus five. Cool. To get Y by itself, just divide by X minus two. Divide the whole thing by X minus two. So now you have Y is equal to x plus 5 over x minus 2. This function is the inverse of this function, right? That's just what happened. Now, is this a different function than that? Yeah, most definitely. Take a look at this thing. The 5 stayed where it was. The 2 is gone. And instead of being x minus 2 in the bottom, it's x minus, uh, x minus 1 in the bottom is x minus 2. It's a different function. Right? And this graph is going to look different. Okay, That's what it means when you take an inverse function. Graphically, you're flipping about the line y is equal to x, which is basically a 45 degree line coming off the x-axis. Okay, It's a mirror. Go, right? Algebraically, you're switching the x's and y's, replacing the x's with the y, and replacing the y with x. 
and then isolating the y okay you can do this with uh quadratics as well right you got to do complete the square so you got to complete the square and then flip it and then switch it you can do this with any function now keep in mind uh, any function that you have if you take the reciprocal like the the first one we started off with right when i drew this thing and then we took the inverse and it looked like this right the inverse isn't necessarily a function it could be a relation but it's not necessarily a function so for example one of the most common types of functions you get right take a look at this thing i'll, sh I'll show you this because it kicks us into takes us from a quadratic function to a rational function right so you're okay with this i hope session seven okay do you have any questions regarding this i feel like i'm gaining iq by this <laughs> nice look, look at this thing we'll wait until session all good man all good i got my matcha here okay super delicious and i got check this out i'll show you my snack uh, my partner made uh, vegan banana bread and chocolate with chocolate and walnuts and i got homemade blueberry and blackberry jam i'm just dunking it in and having a snack okay now i'm going to erase this and we're going to i'm going to show you something else it's really good for the brain for sure session seven and it's a blast from the past <laughs> it's the same question right we just did it but i'm going to show you something else as well watch this take a look at this i hope you guys are getting sunshine all my math drama teachers were enthusiastic about teaching and the others were well we're hating their life i wonder why <laughs> take a look at this thing let's assume we had a quadratic function we had y is equal to x squared plus let's make it plus five again all right so this is a parabola and the parabola looks like this y intercept is five one two three four five and it just opens up right it's a simple quadratic now if we want to take the reciprocal of this thing we'll go this that's the line y is equal to x let's make it darker so you see it right so what we're going to do we're going to grab this thing and go right so this guy just goes like this so the reciprocal looks like this one thing i've definitely missed since leaving school is doing math every day yeah connor dude for me when i got back into teaching mathematics i had to relearn all this stuff and i realized what, what i was missing it just gave me an amazing perspective on everything right <laughs> sending a time out to the sun <laughs> so take a look at this thing so this guy this coordinate here is zero and five so if we take the reciprocal zero and five we take the reciprocal we flip it the x and the y flip right so this guy becomes five and zero one two three four five and zero right and this guy just goes so this part goes here and that part goes there so the graph looks like this right now this is in this isn't the function it's a relation this is a function because for every x there's only one y but this is no longer a function right so what we end up doing is this we represent this as just the top part if we're talking about functions okay da, 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 smith uh Havre. reciprocal is the multiplicative inverse of a number that means that for any x the reciprocal x to the power of negative one 
it is the number such that x times x to the power of negative one is equal to one and x to the power yeah and there are functions that the reciprocal is the original function like for example just imagine if you had a line that went it was just y is equal to x right so let's assume you were trying to take the inverse of y is equal to x so switch the x and y if you switch the x and y you get x is equal to y well that's the same thing as y is equal to x so the inverse of this function is itself okay it looks exactly the same that's the simplest one because that is on the mirror line right are we fans of summer around here i live in texas so i'm not a fan. yeah i'm a fan of summer in canada everybody's a fan of summer almost everyone anyway right now take a look at this thing let's take the inverse of this algebraically if we take the inverse of this algebraically we go x is equal to y squared plus five grab this guy bring it over x minus five is equal to y squared square root both sides so y is equal to square root of x minus five this is the inverse of that right this is a radical function right and the radical functions in general exponential functions are not exponential quadratic functions look like this right um rational sorry or yeah radical functions look like this so they usually eliminate this part because they want to make it a function so they represent this if you're going to define the inverse as a function you're going to kill this part because well in general sometimes you kill the top part it depends on the function you're working with okay graham not me i'm an autumn guy for your information i have a friend and uh san antonio i think say autumn is beautiful too all, all seasons are amazing but for me i like summer i grew up in a desert so i miss the miss the heat miss the sun it is like brilliant right hey glad you're on chicho awesome lark how are you doing i'm in australia heading into winter <laughs> <I'm not flying. laughs> that's funny love when you do math me too i love when i do math too and this is this is fun explaining the inverse function and in my part of the world just so you know they start encountering this in grade 11 grade 12 okay 16c is not winter no here we're actually yeah we're about uh, Alerga, we're almost the same type of weather as uh, you guys in the uk we got a lot of rain and in, in uh, a lot of rain we got lush green and stuff because it's f because if x is greater than five then you take the square root of a negative value and we are no longer in the x y coordinate system yeah but it's it's not necessarily the reason that's not why we kill the bottom we kill the bottom because if we have this right if we do a vertical line test right for a given x value let's assume x is eight here if x is eight then y can be this or this the definition of a function is for a given input you can only have one output for a given x you can only have one y so it no longer becomes a function it's a relation but it's not a function okay i'm from swiss what sun <laughs> true winter is perfect here 20 c days and 10 c nights nice if x is less than five if if x is less than five you're here and it's not a function all right if we put x is here for this if you say x is equal to solve y for x is equal to four right so you're going to go y is equal to square root of four minus five which is the square root of negative one that doesn't work in the real number set right it's non-existent when x is 4 it doesn't work okay cool it is exciting especially uh, math and the irony is that I can't stand math growing up but I've learned to appreciate it yeah I didn't have a I love mathematics um, until I got some bad teachers and they took the love of math out of me right and then I had you know I stayed with it in university and I took it and I appreciated its power but 
the passion wasn't there as much as it is now not even close right do they teach complex numbers in high school there oh dude smith they used to when i went to high school they taught us complex numbers right and then they took complex number out of high school education here um like 20 years ago more than 20 years ago uh, yeah yeah more than 20 years ago and they've just gutted the high school education system here to a level where it's a pale reflection of what it should be really it's it's sad okay 45 minutes we did a lesson on inverse functions and it took us 45 minutes that's not bad can you show the trick for dealing with fractions like 3 over 4 divided by 6 6 over 7 or something yeah sure cool man i'm a few hours north of here recently moved here from canada ah oh, session nine you went to uk from canada i learned complex numbers in high school i think most of our kids learn uh them to these days do they teach complex numbers where you guys are a gram they don't do it here anymore sucks smith me too we learned it quite early you can extend your uh functions to complex numbers to keep functions uh, functional continuity yeah i don't i don't teach us so i've totally lost all that ability right i would have to review everything relearn everything especially algebra and long division brutal for me but luckily during my college years that that all changed you should teach us some basic proofs mm, proofs certain proofs we can do she moved from uh, uk she started in about can you explain triple differentiation my university exam is next week <laughs> uh, no actually i could do triple triple derivatives of just polynomial functions those are easy right but let's do dividing by fractions speedy gonzalez style right so take a look at this thing there's two ways you can write division three ways really right i could say two divided by five i could say two over five like this slant or you could say two divided by five right these two are the most common right in writing math when you're doing it by hand and you see this when you're reading textbooks and stuff like this they can put it all on one line right now what if we had a fraction divided by fraction what if we had 2 over 5 divided by 3 over 4 all right now this becomes a little complicated to deal with okay so what we end up doing is using this symbol to represent it so this is really is equal to 2 over 5 divided by 3 over 4 and when you write something like this when you have something like this all it means is change this to multiplication and flip the number afterwards right so this really becomes 2 times 1 over 5 so for this one when you have fraction divided by fraction the top one you write exactly the way it is you change the division to multiplication and you flip this guy so this becomes 4 over 3 all right now one mantra wait I understand this man <laughs> so one mantra that I always tell my students says reduce before you multiply and reduce before you multiply means if you have fractions anything from the top can kill anything from the bottom right as long as there's no plus and minus between them now there's no plus and minus between these but nothing from the top kills anything from the bottom so all you got to do is just go top multiplies top bottom multiplies bottom 8 over 15 that's what that divided by that is right now what if you had something more complicated but why that's what i want to know why does it work that way because that's the symbol of because division is really multiplication right and multiplication is really addition okay so take a look at this in here i'll explain to you why this is Wait, evening jijo evening jijo dramatu how are you doing Take a look at this thing why this is the case all right so when you're learning mathematics in oh yeah you want to take here let's do tri triple uh differentiation let's take a third derivative of a function we'll take a third derivative of a polynomial function and then i'll show you what this is right 
So if you take the third derivative of a function, I'm, I'm just going to do polynomial functions. That's all I know, right? Uh, 5 x to the power of 4 minus 2 x squared plus 5, right? If you take the first derivative, this number kicks down, right? And you reduce it by 1. So 5 times 4 is 20, and that becomes x to the power of 3 minus. This number kicks down 4 and reduces by 1. So it becomes x to the power of 1. A constant becomes 0. If you take the second derivative, you do the same thing. This number kicks down, so it becomes 60x squared. And that's just the 1. 1 kicks down, minus 4, and reduce x to the power of 1 to x to the power of 0. So it's just 1. If you take the third derivative of it, this number kicks down. It becomes 120x, and constant becomes 0. So the third derivative of this guy is, third derivative of this guy is that guy. That's all you're doing, just drew it over, drew it over, drew it over, drew it over, right? That's all. Okay. As for why you flip, why you flip, take a look at this thing. When you first learn algebra, okay, you learn about addition, and then they usually teach you subtraction and then multiplication and then division, right? I like teaching it as addition, multiplication, subtraction, and then division, right? So first thing you do when you're learning algebra, you learn about plus, minus, multiply, divide, right? You learn about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, okay? Now keep this in mind. You don't have four different operations here. You only have one operation. All of these is really just addition, okay? That's all it is. <laughs> because the formula, uh, for, the formula tell me to. So you don't really have all these guys. These are just, shortcuts i guess if you want to think about it that way right because subtraction if you go two plus two you get four right if you go two plus negative two you get zero so you don't go plus a negative number you go two minus two which is zero that's your minus sign right if you have two plus two plus two plus two plus two you get one one two three four five you get ten but that becomes pain in the ass to write if you're writing multiple twos in a row so all you got to do is you flip rotate the addition symbol to 45 degrees and you go two times five is ten so it's a quick way of doing it division is the same thing but all you're doing is you're um, taking a number dividing out subtracting out uh, not too good, subtracting out these things right so if you want think about division as um version of multiplication but you're not multiplying by a multiple multiple numbers of the same thing you're dividing it out so if you had this right if you're going to divide by something let's assume you had 10 uh, times 1 over 2 right if you have 10 times 1 over 2 that's equal to 5 right now one thing you can do is say well, that's the same thing as saying 10 top multiplies top, bottom multiplies bottom, divided by 2, right? Which is 5. Now, one of the symbols that we have for division is 10 divided by 2, right? So the division really becomes, change this to multiplication and flip this. That's 2 over 1. It becomes 1 over 2, which is 5, right? 5. I'm not sure if I went through the whole process of explaining it properly doing the jumps but that's basically what it is division is really multiplying by fractions that's all that's all division is multiply by fractions and i'm going to put out a series uh, i've already put out uh, videos regarding counting adding and multiplying and this summer i'm going to complete that set of uh, preliminary uh, videos we're going to put out how to do simple mathematics how to do addition subtraction multiplication and division uh, just going to complete that module okay early childhood education or early math education really right so uh, there is a couple of videos coming out which i'm going to go into this in in detail and just really crunch it down and cover all the angles with it but that's all it is if you're multiplying by a fraction, you're really dividing by the, um, what do you call it? The in inverse of it, 
right? Does not equal, uh, no, it doesn't, okay? No, it doesn't. That's the reason why I said I didn't really explain it too well, right? Because I connected it up to multiplication, which is really what you want to do. Apologies if I didn't explain it well. I have I have good days and bad days, and this one I haven't um, really I haven't worked on trying to explain it properly from the base down for a long time. That's why I'm going to wait until the summer so I can fill in the gaps for it, right? Because I always connect up division with multiplication because division is really a fraction multiplying by a fraction. Chicho is my math. Uh, Chicho is my math situ uh, situations. I'm uh, always looking for 100% or whole. Is this a normal protocol to basic math? Uh, no, 100% or whole. Uh, Elder God, what do you mean? Is my math situations? I always look for 100% or whole. Is this a normal protocol for basic math? So you're trying to get 100% on everything? Is that what you're saying, Elder God? Yeah. Divided, divided, divided. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Smith, by the way. Right? Please do complete the simple math videos. I'm trying to teach a four year old. Yeah, session seven. Um, initially, when I started doing the math stuff, I decided to start with the real number set. But I've had so many people over the last few years come to me. Uh, to try to teach their their kids in elementary school the youngest now I've started working with is basically eight years old right and one of the reasons that's happening I've been dealing with the problems of kids coming out of elementary school like when kids come out of elementary school man they know zero mathematics in general it's horrendous so in grade eight they're like what do you mean multiplying by fractions adding fractions they don't know anything and the reason they don't know anything is because elementary school is not teaching them anything. So I've been dealing with that for two decades, but in the last five, longer than that, five, six, seven years, really, I've had a lot of parents contact me and say, hey, can you teach my, because I've worked with their siblings that are in high school, can you teach you know their brothers and sisters that are in elementary school? And I started working with them. And wow, what a disaster elementary school is. Total disaster. Wait, do you have math for year tens? The Hilu, year tens. I'm not sure what that means, year tens. I do I do teach tenth grade and I work with students that are ten years old, yeah. That's the problem with the way math is taught. As a control protocol like getting fractions to decimals oh as a control protocol so converting from a uh, fraction uh, fractions to decimals yeah they don't they don't do that well like it's horrendous like elder god man <laughs> the, way, the way basic algebra is taught is so problematic so problematic it, it, it for someone that knows the power and we all know how how smart kids are right and what they're capable of doing watching kids struggle with basic concepts with the mathematics is extremely frustrating extremely frustrating yeah because x to the power of negative one is one over x yeah i'm so excited to show my kid your math videos it's going to be exhilarating to learn with them and show him your awesome spider-man and really as a parent as uh, i can honestly say if you have to learn with your kids as you are teaching them uh it's essential because the education system is not going to do it they're going to fall behind and you have to jump on it right from the get-go because if you try to help them out in grade 10 or grade 11 math and you haven't learned with them along the way there's going to be serious problems right yeah i don't trust the school system that's why i'm going to teach her uh in uh, in addition to the schools yeah that's what i would highly recommend 
that's all what I recommend all my and keep this in mind by the way session seven parents have a hard time teaching their kids really I've had students where both both the parents the mother and the father were high school math teachers and I was teaching I was tutoring the kid in math right and this wasn't a one-time situation it, it was the only one where both the both the parents were high school math teachers but I've had parents I don't know how many parents I've had that are that are math teachers but they send their kids to me to teach them mathematics because the family dynamics doesn't allow uh, the kids aren't really receptive to uh, learning math from a family member and I've I've encountered that myself because I've had family members that I tried to teach mathematics to and they weren't as receptive as they my regular students were to mathematics uh, I should have hired someone to teach them math tell you the truth but I couldn't find anyone there wasn't uh, very difficult to find good math teachers math tutors so elder god I'm seeing my nieces soon and it's an emergency for math to teach math how old are they elder god how old are they if, if you're seeing them if they're struggling with math let us know okay and we'll set up uh, specifically math streams for elementary school kids and we'll just say simple mathematics help them out and explain them in a certain way I was a substitute in private school and it was bad Hannah says uh, I think part of the problem is that the parents uh, parents parent their kids poorly and the schools aren't uh, evolving with the with the times yeah the schools are definitely not evolving with the times and parents they're overwhelmed man that's a problem our current political economic system overwhelms people UK schools are even worse uh, Canadian isn't that good man I can only imagine what public schools are like it's not Hannah it's not about public school or private school it's about the teacher I have students from both private and public and homeschool and special ed and, and uh, people on the spectrum and stuff all of it right I can honestly tell you I have parents that have sent their kids to school that pay like thirty thousand dollars a year for high school like oh my what in the world are they thinking and I've had parents that send their kids to public school and the kids are on the same level it's about the teacher it's not about how much people are paying to go to school and it's not about how much they're not paying for the kids to go to school it's about parents becoming proactive in their children's education and you know the type of environment to grow up in and social social settings there's a lot of factors at play and also schools don't discipline students enough they let shit uh, go too much possibly discipline for sure but I don't believe in harsh discipline I, I, I don't I believe in the, the problem with our with our centralized education system right now is one of the main problems is class size right huge you need personal care when you're trying to educate generations coming up you need that that is the most important asset of any civilization is that is a cliche but it's your kids the most important asset it, it, ask any parent what is your most precious precious thing in life they'll say my kids right a society's answer should be the same what is the most precious thing for any society any country any community it should be the kids right but it's not for our based on a current political economic system the most precious thing that people consider consider to be the most important investment they they have in their lives is their home right it shouldn't be the most important investment in your life is your kids you should be investing in your kids period end of story nothing else even comes close nothing okay also schools don't da, 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 da. I'm concerned uh, very clever I'm considered very clever and I can do math I know easy uh, I know easily in my head but I can uh, I can't articulate it to people yeah elder God uh, for me as well when I first started teaching I try to find a way to explain some of the things I knew but the reason I really didn't know how to explain it was because I didn't really know why 
the mathematics worked out that way right even now there are times where i try to take a step back and try to figure out why do we do this right and i'm amazed as to what i find right and trying to teaching is difficult really i didn't realize that that's one reason i really got into it heavy is because it was extremely challenging right it was so challenging i was like wow this thing's like getting me pumped right what else can you want out of life other than getting something that excites you to do right session seven i haven't considered that she might not want to learn from me i'll keep that in mind yeah session seven um that's the biggest hurdle you face it's not the knowledge okay it's the dynamics of the parent and uh, and the child okay smith if we write x to the power of negative one is one over x for mul for multiplicative inverse we could but won't don't write x to the power in the subscript for additive inverse ah <laughs> that's cool i've never seen that uh, Smith. the problem with the initial and that was that the first uh first two in the string of subtraction was a negative additive inverse i gotta look into that more smith wasn't negative additive inverse wasn't negative that's what it was it was a positive two boom thank you for that yeah i knew there was i did i wrote it down i went something is not meshing well so i jumped to the multiplication right ah thanks for that that's cool the little the little nuances smith eh? the little nuances brilliant brilliant graham it doesn't have anything to do with discipline it has to do with compassion oh, graham i agree with graham 100 it has to do with love krishna uh, by the way i've mentioned this before i'll mention it again the most important book the most important book any parent any educator needs to read is krishna morty's education and the significance of life it's hard to really get a grasp for what he's saying until you finish the book okay when i first started reading it his main thesis his main statement there is we us adults parents society we do not love our children right and as soon as he starts saying this i'm like what is he talking about we don't love our children and then he goes about explaining in a short little book it's a very quick read you could read it in one day right he goes about explaining i took a few days because i was taking notes and i was thinking about the what he was saying right and i've read it like three times so far <laughs> like he goes about explaining what he means by we don't love our children right and the main thesis is we send our children to centralized institutions that are horrendous to try to educate them about life and how to live their lives and who they are which obviously the central education system doesn't what kind of a society does that to their children their most important asset right hence we don't love our children okay it is powerful important read session seven I'm with you regarding investing in your kids chicho i retired when my daughter was about one one so i could uh, refocus my attention to her leaving her development to strangers while i sat in the office all day was doing <laughs> was doing my head in yeah session seven i like really i don't have any kids but i have family members that have gone through the education system and i've cringed i've had to go to school um i've sat in a room with the principal and the disciplinary people with family members in the room and they were like interrogators they were like police officers fbi agents trying to fish for words coming out and there was one time where they were digging and i put my hand on the family members uh knee and I prevented him from speaking because they were 
setting a trap for him unbelievable right like if I wasn't a calm cool person I would have got up flipped the table and thrown them out of the window right for putting a child in that situation unbelievable right uh, absolutely disgusting right no I don't uh, was this elder God was this yes we are we are all Chijonians, so <laughs> some of us mathematically can't be his children. It's a community. It's a community. We are a community. That is one hundred percent for sure. And uh, personally, I'm very, very grateful for it. Can someone calculate my name? Twelve Musk. I have no idea. The Elder God might be able to. He's very good at uh, deciphering. Very good at deciphering. Right fantastic at deciphering things i'm gonna have a little bit of vegan banana bread with homemade homemade blackberry and blueberry jam i'm gonna pop take a look with coconut flour coconut and whole wheat flour with walnuts and chocolate chips or chocolate chunks I gotta remember not to set up a stream at this time. You gotta eat good. That's one thing I've learned in my in my old age or middle age, I guess. Look, if you're young, okay. do what you need to do to experience life to the best of your abilities without taking yourself out of the game all right i've seen a lot of people take themselves out of the game especially in their 20s even even teens like my first funeral i went to i was in grade nine right one of our friends boop, boop, done right so we go to a funeral so i've seen a lot of people take themselves out of the game in their teens and in their 20s right so don't take yourself out of the game it's a beautiful ride stay in the ride right do what you need to do to experience life but as you grow older realize that this is a machine that you have you have to feed it good fuel okay by feeding a good fuel you become just physically healthier and mentally more stable and emotionally able to deal with life throws at you okay food is a huge huge part of that chemistry okay and it is chemistry right you're taking this in your body breaks it down turns it into fuel feeds your body right so eat healthy uh healthier as you grow older uh very very important legendary rob boss baking nuts in bread ruins nuts for me I like my nuts crunchy and all that moisture in the bread softens it too much for my taste it's why I don't like nut bread really one of the things um, uh, Iranians do is and I, I do it as well and I've shown you guys this I soak walnuts and almonds right and what that does it makes some moisture you still get a little bit of crunch right not the but what it does it it makes it easier to digest so that's important uh, some people can eat walnuts or almonds if they're not soaked and I don't mind them like this it's, it's yummy math was always my favorite subject I love being presented with a problem and enjoyed the process of working it out I love the satisfaction of finally cracking something I'd struggle with math is fun to make yeah Connor yeah and i tell you the truth i felt that way until i hit grade 12. when i hit grade 12 i had a crappiest most brutal horrendous math teacher ever i couldn't believe this guy the guy was just riding it out right and he took the fun of math out of me right um to a level where i almost considered not going into the sciences i was sort of i got sick of sciences to a certain degree right and then i took a sort of a year break or something like this and then i went back into an the love came back to me right 
teachers are extremely important and that's the kicker right when kids go to school there might be a time where they 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 have amazing 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 experience and they have one bad teacher that just destroys them right you have no idea how many students have had that one teacher ruin their education uh, prospects right and then one of the jobs I have is to bring that love back into their lives right I feel like walnuts hold up I guess walnut isn't so crunchy to begin with yeah walnuts hold up for sure in the baking and walnuts are very oily as well so uh, it's not bad innate ability learning alternator innate ability yeah we we're wired to learn we are wired to do mathematics Nate how are you doing hello hello flump la 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 only have had one good math teacher last two I had were harsh and I couldn't understand them their English was unacceptably bad yeah. New Year's Eve 1971 New Year's Eve 1971 that's uh, elder god that's your birthday new year's eve 1971 december 31st is that what your birthday is i'm back sorry coolio how's it going i had to mute stream for a bit hope i didn't miss too much uh, good math we had the, we did a good inverse uh, sort of took it from the beginning and uh explained it to the best of my abilities anyway well let's say it, it, above 80 percent of my abilities 90 percent maybe i'll have to re -look, look at it see if i skipped any uh, main parts i really want to homeschool but i don't want to take away the social aspect and making friends that comes with school thoughts you show i personally if I, I can honestly tell you if i have kids right or if i had kids i would send them to public school right because in public school they'll encounter every type of social setting every type of person within reason right i would never send them to a, a, a private school okay i would send them to a public school because those are the people that they're going to encounter in the real world right i don't want them growing up in a bottle bubble but i would supplement their education either teaching them myself the subjects i knew and if the dynamics didn't allow that i would hire someone to teach them supplement their education uh, but I would definitely send them to uh, public school because those are the people they're going to encounter if they're planning on living in any city or anything like this. So they need to be able to know what's out there, right? The good and the bad. Okay. You got to, I'm not one to cradle kids. Uh, you got to show, show the reality of this life to children. The good and the bad, really. I've, family members. I can honestly tell you I've taken family members out into downtown at three o'clock four o'clock in the morning to skateboard to just kick it right two o'clock in the morning uh, when they were in high school right because they wanted to go experience that so I took them there right and there were some amazing times where they they came out with me and we took snacks and we go to a major skate park where it's like the old timers the some hardcore people you know doing whatever is they're doing in the corner they're doing some professional skaters doing their stuff uh, we go kick it around downtown in the uh, in the streets that are empty right and let them ride and I would you know I made myself a little skateboard that was a sort of a I took the wheels and I put them on made it a low rider because I wasn't into doing tricks I just ride around with them right uh, and I would just go out with them and let them let them do their thing right experience life right coolio regarding elder god i was born at the he was born at the dawn of a new year or since he's an elder god at the dawn of mankind <laughs> flump laugh out loud uh well now it's mostly online classes depending where you where you are yeah and those online classes i have some students that are taking their online classes in school they're brutal man 
there, there is no online class really and they, they don't care they're not really learning they're just filling the dots and you know checking the boxes and they're being sent homework bare minimum and it's it's not really education it's a it's a make work project for them and just check in it's not a good system the this system doesn't know how to do it elder god no just breaking down that guy's name oh you're breaking down that guy's name check it out what's this da -da -da -da. new year's eve 1971 what was the guy's name let's check this code out 12 months how did you do that elder god how did you do that what i'm gonna write down his name you tell us and that's code that's cool let's check this out where's this guy's name x a e a x a e a underscore 12 musk 12 musk and this is new year's eve 1971 how <clears throat> oh darn there goes my backstory coolio <laughs> it's only a first attempt could be wrong okay better than my attempt that i i can't do that like is is this roman i'm not sure what a e a stands for he could be goofing around but it could be code as well for sure graham i'm going to send my kid to school for the social education but then keep track of what she's learning and teach her myself yeah as well as keeping tabs on their friends for sure there's some people that have some issues uh in the world exactly why i haven't pulled them uh for homeschool yeah was this isn't his name just that silly Elon musk mean is it i don't know 12 musk must explain the name on j uh joe rogan uh, experience if that's what you're wondering did he i think that's what alan must named his son did he oh. oh well i like elder god's interpretation better <laughs> yeah that's Elon my son's name is it or the alphabet representation uh i would never name a kid that why let 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 the child grow up without these conceptions of who they should be and playing games for them right x ash angel is how it's pronounced x ash angel okay. we'll take it down we don't care about our uh, Elon Musk's uh, child hopefully he grows up well yeah silly salute gang matcha the date was interesting yeah how did you get the date 1971 1971 fun quiet today it's good stereotype 41 i think social education aspect of school is overrated i guarantee kids can pick this up naturally and school isn't the only way to achieve this i learned so much more outside of school interacting with people from more diverse backgrounds and it really depends where you grow up right which school we're talking about like i'm in canada the high schools here aren't as uh crazy as some of the high schools in the united states right even though they're becoming worse and worse okay and i would personally i would i would talk to the kid ask him if they want to go to school or if they don't 
I think it should be left. Yeah, this is matcha. Matcha is uh, just tea ground up from what I understand. And then you just make it. <laughs> it's tea, ground up tea. So you get all the antioxidant and stuff. But personally for me, regarding school, ask the child, does the child want to go to school? If they don't want to go to school, then start giving them a set discipline. And I don't believe in no schooling and stuff like this where you let the kid do whatever the hell they want uh that's kids need discipline kids need direction kids need participation kids need um what do you call it um a collaboration right everybody needs collaboration to tell you the truth but i wouldn't let the kids do anything they wanted to do i would give them direction and what they want what they wanted to do and help them out right so there are you know there could be kids that don't want to do anything that's not acceptable okay they need to learn right i've, I've come across people where they say um you know they, they they don't anyway i won't go there no any cool gravity equations oh man coolio i i I did a lot of gravity surveys as a geophysicist, but I don't remember the equations. And the instrument, the gravity instruments are very sensitive. So you lay down the gravity instrument and you set your stuff, you take the measurement and you move along and you take gravity measurements along a certain area. And I've processed a lot of gravity, aerial gravity surveys and stuff like this, but I don't remember the equations. This 20 plus years ago, just, just basic alpha, number code is that what it is alter god okay i'm in canada as well how's your day going going well robson how are you doing robson bailey and welcome to chat one percent of Alan Musk worth is that much net worth doesn't mean he has that amount available no it doesn't paper kids need structure kids need structure 100 percent agree I do not like billionaires. I don't know. <laughs> Spider-Man. Nate. I went about it differently. Da -da -da -da. Oh, XAEA12 Musk could be written as XA13 to the power 13. E -ba -ba -ba. If A is plops a constant e is the base of the natural logarithm m is mi missiles, mi missiles melton's constant uh, mu is uh, raman ramajan uh, solders constant uh, omega is uh, hafner Asar sarnak kirkery constant and k is Spink Spinkley's Sp constant, then his name is nothing like is something like 3.96 times 10 to the negative 11. <laughs> times what? Times what? Wait a second. Times times the inverse of the name is negative 0 0.999. <laughs> Hilarious. Kids need active participation in their lives. 100% gram yeah they need to interact Elon Musk is just another ecos egocentric maniac out for power and money I don't spend too much time thinking about Elon, Elon Musk or any of those people right I would argue he's not egocentric but I do or agree that he is turning out to be just another greedy capitalist uh, Coolio yeah right power right uh, and I definitely disagree with them flooding the skies with satellites, right? Why do we need NAS when you have computers? Who who created the computers? What can you do with com computers? Just a machine. If you don't understand what the machine does, you know nothing, right? And that's the situation many people are in, right? Because their political economic system is just a machine. They don't know how it works, so they know nothing, right? In essence, they are slaves to the system right learn your mathematics get your freedom stereotype 
I wholeheartedly agree about asking kids if they want to go to school and also completely agree with giving them some type of structure it depends on the kid it depends on the kid right and feed their curiosity do not force them to live the 24 hour cycle time uh, you know kids need a lot of sleep they're growing their bones and stuff like this but if they want to you know go out in the middle of the night and experience the evening life go out with them show them right that's what I did anyway right and uh, I think I did good I think I did okay we have to know how to program those computers yeah Robinson Bailey thank you on oh, well family as well what more can one ask for nothing more man Tyrion snow okay but your average person doesn't need math right no the, the average person needs math more than anybody else apart from those who build it nope no you need to know math everybody needs to know if you're not literate in language it's like saying the average person doesn't know how to read that doesn't need to know how to read and write a hundred years ago right the average person needed to know how to read and write because the average person they're gonna grow older and older and technology is gonna progress and all of a sudden they're gonna blink they don't know how to read and write how are you gonna get on a computer and do searches right I disagree that kids need structure kids need active participation with their lives structure is oppressive um I don't agree with that necessarily it depends on the structure I don't think this should be jailhouse structure but it should be some kind of structure where you're saying okay we're gonna have dinner together let's have let's cook together right agree that's part of the participation but that is some kind of structure right kids should be free to pursue their own interests with an active facilitator to help contextualize the things they're learning in that process yeah some billionaires are okay <laughs> spider-man do you, do you go to the store da, 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 da? you need math to put uh, not uh, overspend do you pay taxes and bills you need math math is important in every field of industry and in just, just problem solving it's, it's the most incredible problem solving tool we have that's the reason we came up with it All right this is a fun question can you recite pi off by heart no one can pies goes on forever math is different than counting through rights I disagree with that I think being a billionaire is unethical ah, I disagree Gra. it depends what you do with your billions right and that's not to me that's not a definition of wealth uh, being like it's like saying uh, I disagree if somebody has too many friends no maybe they're social creatures they need lots of friends right to me the definition of wealth is not a billionaire that might be uh, Wall Street's definition of wealth that might be confused people that have defined what wealth is they don't know what wealth is to them yet right to me wealth is many other things yes but I was more just trying to use widely relatable comp up coolio i just playing with you Ty Tyrion is not crazy though people need basic math but things like functions transfer transformations i spent over a decade as a professional scientist and the only time i really used a lot of complex math was when i was lecturing to the uni kids and here's a kicker session but your knowledge was there right by understanding functions and variables and how things are related and how things affect each 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 other each each system you had a better understanding of the connections in our world i find that people if you're not literate in the language of mathematics i don't want to say i find people don't know it there are people who understand how things are connected in the world but once you know mathematics you can 
really have a better understanding how things were it's like Feynman saying you know someone coming up to him and saying oh isn't this a beautiful flower and uh, you don't need to know mathematics and physics and science to appreciate this flower and Feynman's response was no you do not but if you do know it then you can appreciate it more in depth right you can appreciate its beauty its aroma right that it grows and is surrounding the stuff but you can appreciate it to a level that someone that doesn't understand doesn't have that knowledge right so i think um, the more you know the more you can appreciate things right there was a point in my life in smith there was a point in my life uh, there's a point in my second year of uh, university when we revisited all the arithmetic algebra and such that we ever learned and were taught that it, that it was all a special case of much broader and more abstract mathematics the va vast majority of what's learned in high school is applicable to the real world but mathematics is an abstract language to explain logic logic is the language of reasoning nice elder god <laughs> three one four da, 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 six <laughs> nice yes but if he asks the specific question of function transformation sure but he was saying math in general cool agreed agreed cool yeah is all i know now I fact check if i was right is all i can currently remember for pi 3.14156 it's 159 aha just google it duck duck go it Duck, duck, go might have the more accurate uncensored response <laughs> Lower one was fact checking mine too uh el himrio mirio miro ah, i gotta start calling you miro miro how are you doing chicho i am good at math but whenever i look at these majors majors jobs out there most of them deal with coding programming and from my past experience i'm not that good at it any idea on jobs that will require math in it but not as much coding teaching is the only subject I'm aware of as of now uh, geophysics it doesn't require coding uh, you do a lot of in interpreting okay so as a geophysicist you do run you take data you collect a lot of data or you acquire a lot of data and you run filters through it and you run programs through it and you look at different types of equations and you can create models for it right to interpret the data you do seismic refraction radar reflection and stuff like this so geophysics has a lot of that uh, hydrogeology has a lot of mathematics in it uh, or it can have a lot of mathematics in it uh, stock market uh, investing trading uh, can have a lot of mathematics in it uh, or it does have a lot of mathematics in it in banking create create multiple different types of derivatives and throw them out in the system and let people gamble away right um, aside from that there's got to be lots of engineering in general would have a fair bit of mathematics if you're doing it right catholic tradition structure can be oppressive at its worst but it can be enabling and even empowering at its best yeah it all depends on how you do it i agree with catholic traditionalists so structure is just a tool right coolio chicho i've been meaning to ask this in a math stream for some time although it would fit into a philosophy stream as well do you think math inherently exists or is it an invention of humans i think we're we have an innate math ability I think we have an innate ability to do mathematics period I wrote an article on this by the way I don't, it's not a scientific article or anything I just collapsed a whole whole bunch of data and links and stuff like this and compiled it together and said math is an innate, innate human ability right and this is the example I use by the way I say even even animals have a innate mathematical ability calculation ability right Put a, I haven't tested this out by the way. This is something I mentioned a long time ago, right? Uh, take a monkey, put him in a room, put one banana on this side, and put 10 bananas on this side, right? And do this for multiple monkeys. See if the monkeys go for the one banana or for the 10 bananas, right? If the majority of them go for the one banana, maybe they, have, they don't have the ability to 
process that there's a bunch of bananas over here if they go majority of them go for a bunch of banana maybe you could say they don't have the eyesight to see the one banana or you could interpret that as saying hey they know the concept of more less more that's the root basis of mathematics if you want to think about it less more quantify that less more less more less more and then start giving it numbers right so i think math is an innate ability the language of mathematics the syntax we've come up with is the human creation of uh, sort of taking our innate ability and creating the language of mathematics for us to do more complex calculations I'm very good at uh, statistics, but I'm terrible with the basics. I lack the uh, appreciation that Feynman was talking about. Hopefully I can pick it up. Thank goodness I found the stream, Robinson Bailey. <laughs> fun, fun. Am I missing a lot of chat? No, not too much. Lots of engineering position involved mathematics, but not coding, yeah. Uh, Smith, Coolio. I agree uh, I argue math in, is inherent we discover the relationships as we climb higher what do you think yeah Graham Catholic tradition is right I agree with Chicho it depends on the kind of structure and why that structure is in place but I agree with Chomsky that it is it is duty of the person enforcing the structure to be able to defend why the structure is in place otherwise it is that I agree with 100% Graham why do we have to that's 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 the most common question any educator any parent will get from kids growing up why 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 they need to know why because their brains are processing saying how is this connected to everything else why am i doing this the system beats the crap beats that out of us as we go through the centralized education system we need to get that back into our lives as we grow older not related to math but have you ever been to ireland yes i have connor yes i have i have oh connor are you irish i'm gonna find you a link on my website is that cool you will appreciate this i'm gonna find your link on my website let me find it for you I was there so, soon after the uh, Good Friday Peace Accord was uh, was passed in 1998. Check this out. This is a article: graffiti and murals from Northern Ireland taking a walk in Belfast in autumn of 1998. Here's my. I flew over England. Sorry, England. Uh, you didn't accept my euro pass so uh, from france i flew over england went to ireland spent like five days in ireland and then came back okay and while we're at it here's the math article i was talking about coolio uh ba -ba 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 -ba. why is math important what did i call this uh, because the language of mathematics plays a vital role in evolution article blah, 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 blah. so here this is the this is the innate ability math Thing I put together by the way okay uh, Robinson Bailey stock market although it has a lot of mathematics can be very stressful so be careful be careful yeah I personally wouldn't do it I've, I've done it for myself personal trading and stuff like this but I would never go into wall street uh, horrendous okay thanks for the advice show my pleasure uh, miro even doing a rota needs math what's a rota you know oh, what kind of math are we talking about wait i want to do the banana test in a pub <laughs> <What cider? laughs> oh dear god oh, videotape it <laughs> show show it to us <laughs> one beer <laughs> or one cider five ciders <laughs> how drunk are do the people have to be not to be able to do the mathematics you're funny okay i'm gonna skip some of the chat gang just if it's not a, a 
existence of math itself makes me think we're in a simulation possibly I think a lot of these math conversations uh, get bogged down in semantics when some people say math they mean complex counting like Chicho Chicho's monkey example while others mean calculus <laughs> Oh, fun computer run on ones and zeros so it is only makes sense that a universe created or simulated by by one would as well why is why stolen from us why <laughs> why <laughs> oh my god the ones and zeros in our case uh, uh case are just the size of quarks I am Irish awesome definitely going to check it out awesome Connor and if you ever uh, ever make it out there uh, I'd be curious to see how many of those murals are still up right there's a difference between math and value math I think is dependent uh, dependent on its syntax value is not even though value is the basics for math I think syntax is is us evolving right it's part of evolution we've taken an innate ability and quantified it been able to create a language for it to do more complex math right wiggity woo math is a way to categorize and manipulate the value math encompasses complex counting and calculus plus though what's this liberatatheus math is blanket category and the things you guys are describing as math are just absets subsets of it geometry is a branch of mathematics for sure rota staff shift pattern rota staff shift pattern case man how are you doing inertia is a pro property of matter inertia is a property of matter time is a property of matter gravity is a property of matter gravity and time could be considered to be the same thing almost but mathematics itself covers geometry to calculus to everything in between yeah case man the mitochondria <laughs> mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell theist okay how about imagining numbers like federal reserve <laughs> no it's generated for the, via the printing machine actually it's not even printing machine anymore it's just a press of a button on on, on some kind of computer right Toosh. would you like a trillion dollars Toosh. there you go you are my friend spend it wisely and don't distribute it too many places we don't want the peasants to have any of that now do we great conversation all around today indeed spider-man loving it loving it Tristan how are you doing hey Chicho long time no see long time no see Tristan long time no see <laughs> hopefully we see soon right thanks for popping into the stream anywhere near uh strap up imagining numbers are a little different than imaginary money <laughs> but I like the, I like the cut on your jib speaking of bananas I was taught this trick if a person has the hiccups ask them a mathematical question such as if a banana tree had 26 branches and 41 bananas per branch how many bananas are in the tree the hiccups usually disappear really okay Robinson I'll try to remember that so I just ask him to multiply two numbers or ask probably probably it's just about thinking about something okay you got me there session seven coolio true but when you define mass so broadly it becomes hard to talk about example that guy that said you don't need math i doubt he meant you can get through life without learning to count he likely meant you don't need topology <laughs> i would love to learn topology i need to get into topology maybe in another 20 years gang when we got all the modules out and we got our cookbook out and we got our exercise routine out and we got all the podcasts updated up to date and everything like that we'll go to through together and learn topology laugh out loud the black market for the US that best math the Keynesian and their modeling 
<laughs> Goldilocks. First time catching a stream. Welcome, Goldilocks. I hope you're enjoying your stay. It's a nice, beautiful Monday afternoon. And thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. By the way, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs, gang. I'm sorry if I missed them, but I get lost in the conversations and the questions and the good times. I do appreciate them very much. Session, yeah. Uh, Coolio, session nine. Yeah, but that's why we should dig deeper and ask for specifics. Otherwise, I'll be assuming his math syntax is the same as mine or vice versa. Yeah. And that's like defining words, right? Potassium. Potassium. <laughs> that's hilarious elder god regarding the banana question uh, it's a, a lot of potassium a lot of potassium Graham, some people have a bad taste when they talk about math and so anything bad is linked to math in their head but when you break it down yeah Graham, i agree right totally agree agreed hence my semantic comment exactly so should we change the definition of math I don't know if we should change it. It's just a word, right? Um, it's like, it, for me, whenever people say it, I just take it back to literacy, learning how to read and write, right? So that's the way I deal with it. Uh, and my students usually go, oh, yeah. And that's the only thing I'm caring about with when I talk with my students, right? To get that door open for them to be accepting of mathematics, to think about it as a language. That was a nice glass of water. Had to pound that back. The sun's got me all hot. Came through. We just saw the sun just go through us, right? Fantastic. Fantastic. Not change, just expand. Wow, we're almost at two hours, gang. What a fantastic Monday afternoon, Monday evening for our friends in the UK. I guess Monday morning or Tuesday morning for our friends in Australia if they're watching All right should we call the stream gang should we call the stream fun times fun times what a great stream and only a timeout one little timeout someone thrown into a cage that's it yeah Tuesday morning session seven 23 fit elder god it's, it's not even after 12 for you <laughs> right on that's good that's good smith coolio i think it's um, better to leave an open definition constraining it will strifle discovery or cause some to scoff at things outside the box note that many branches of the subject border on philosophy but are written in the language of math so which it so which is which can it not be both hmm. good point smith very good point it has to be both it has to be both it has to be all of it right okay gang let's call the stream thank you very much for being here gang mods thank you for taking care of business thank you for the conversations everybody really for those of you that are new here uh thanks for popping by i hope you enjoyed the stream uh and it was probably a heavy sentence for the crime and it was probably a heavy sentence for the crime Pitch. gang if you want to know who we are i'm on patreon i'm sharing the work there if you want to support this project patreon is a fantastic way to support this project i don't put anything behind paywalls so you can just follow and keep up to date and as to what we're sharing uh, the videos we're uploading the audio we're uploading to soundcloud now any pics and whatnot and i have sort of a thesis on the description of patreon page of what my work is centered towards which is basically creating a math curriculum um, that can teach all of high school mathematics right uh, i think if everybody was liter literate in the language of mathematics the world would be a much more beautiful place for all of us period end of story right so if you want to follow the work patreon is a fantastic place to follow this work and to support this project we are live streaming the stuff on Twitch. And if you want to follow this work live, participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. And 
my twitch handle is twitch uh, twitch twitch.tv or twitch.com backslash chicho live all one word and for those of you that are subbing following on twitch thank you very much for the subs and the follows appreciate it very much okay i do announce these streams on twitter gabs minds vk and oh okay about 30 minutes before we go live and i do share additional content and stuff on those platforms and announce videos and audio that we're uploading beginning of this year or in the last month last couple of weeks started uploading audios to soundcloud as podcasts i've been asked to do this for a number of years now and we're finally on soundcloud and i'm having a heyday fantastic time just learning about that platform and uploading these some of these audios anyway up to soundcloud we didn't record this one so this one will probably not go on soundcloud because i don't have it with the lapel mic but i have 900 plus videos on youtube at least 500 of those i've recorded with a lapel mic okay so well, i'm going to go through and slowly start uploading those previous videos that uh, we've recorded up to onto soundcloud as podcast as audio and you should be able to uh, access them through whatever podcasting platform that you access stuff on um, i just fixed it on uh, itunes so you should be able to find it on itunes as well okay and as far as the videos go i'm uploading these videos to youtube and bitshoot everything goes to bitshoot uh tech technical hiccups permitting and everything goes on youtube except things that youtube is censoring so it's going to become less and less things being uploaded to youtube uh, unfortunately but if you are on youtube watching these things the math videos will always go on youtube for sure um, if you're on youtube and if you want to support this work uh, we do have youtube membership available now and that became available at the beginning of this year so we a few things have rolled out at the beginning of this year and joining through youtube membership is a fantastic way to support this project and i do premiere a lot of these videos on youtube and i am live in the chat on youtube when we do premiere the videos on youtube okay aside from that gang uh thanks for being here everyone hey chicho parker how's it going you caught us at the end of the stream thanks for being here gang i hope uh you guys have a fantastic next few days and most likely i'll announce uh, the next set of streams today is monday probably by thursday and by the way by the way heads up we might do another dj set next weekend we're just trying to confirm things right now so i'm going to hold off until uh we get confirmation from the next set of djs that are into doing a dj set with us and uh we'll announce it as soon as that's confirmed if not this weekend maybe next weekend okay so hopefully we can get that going and we can do another at least a six hour uh dj set that'll be fantastic everyone's excited yeah so i'm gonna pass on the word let's get it going let's get it going okay thanks for being here gang and i'll see you guys in the next live stream bye for now cheers everyone and peace of course